Hello and welcome back to Villa sur Olom for the final day of the IFSC European Championships. It's pretty early morning compared to the other mornings that we've had so far and the temperature reflecting that just under 20 degrees. Nice and cool here in the stadium. And as you can see, the women who have made it to the combined final are on stage in the final part of the root reading process. Well, let's check out our eight women who have made it through to this stage. Ingrid Kingerhaden just getting into the top eight. The scores combined from the Boulder and lead individual rounds. You see Adolfo, see Atakas, Zilia Avazi, Sara Chopper, Ayala Karem, Laura Roger, and Zhenya Kazbekova. So Ingrid, first athlete on, runs across the stage. We'll start off pretty slowly, just one climber at a time as we move through the four boulders available here. She's just 22. On the beginning of women's number one, you jump into a starting position and then you've got to go around the corner towards that low zone hold. And although it might be possible to do what she's doing now, trying to get some toes around the edge, it's not necessarily the best beater. Set as I was talking to wanted something like that where you kind of jump around the corner, left hand on the black sloper, right hand finding the jug. And it's why the jug is so enormous. It's a massive hold for a boulder competition. And that's because of the wild movement you could do. Although often with these situations, climbers will break the beater. And that's what Ingrid is trying to do now with this toe around the corner. And Ingrid's going to be trying this a few more times before she changes the method, I would imagine. She feels close, but no one can help you. You're alone out there. The coaches can shout encouragement. They can't tell you what to do. So Ingrid starts this swing again. Better range with the toe. Can she make this work? Hooks it around the corner. This is good work now. Reaches through. Excellent from her. Little adjustment onto the five, and that is points on the board for Ingrid. the second half of the boulder to come now that 10 above her head hits the side pull a little low manages to save it dropping back down onto that jug every time her feet touches the mats remember it's minus 0 0.1 from her score Ingrid pulls on again can she get the range on this toe hook she needed to give an almighty swing around the corner finds it gets those toes in that will feel good as she brings that right hand back into the low zone. But of course, she has already been awarded points for this. And she's still a little bit low on this. You need to get up towards the middle of this hold. There's a lot of power required to boost up towards this, rocking on that heel, super awkward position. You can see the score down at the bottom left. So she has 4.7, so that's a few attempts into the low zone. And it's time for Lucia Dorfel to enter the stage. She stands, that light cutting across her face as the sun rises over the mountains behind the stadium. Looking very composed out here. Little nod from the judge, and then she will begin her run across the stage towards women's number one. And Lucia Dorfel, supremely impressive at the moment. Really made herself the one to watch in the German team currently for the women. So up towards the starting hold, she looks around the corner now. She'll begin the swing like Ingrid did, and maybe a little more static, locking off that right arm. That's a little bit more height, which just allows her to do that wiggle around the corner without the swing that Ingrid needed. And then she will transfer her right hand to match the feet, cracking her left heel, and that is quick work from Lucia Dorfel. She'll lose her feet, but it won't really matter. Although, what's going on now? I'm slightly confused about that myself, as is Lucia. Not quite sure what the judge was calling them down for.
So Lucia back onto the low zone now, makes the match. Drags the feet a little bit around the corner. She boosts up towards the side pull. See her score, 4.9, just taking one attempt into that low zone. Bumps up, she is quite low on that side pull. So Lucia with a heel hook in up towards the high sloper, drops back down. High with the right hand now, just locking it off, gets a palm in properly. A little adjustments with that right hand, that right heel doing all the work as she makes the match, but then goes down. 19 seconds on the clock for Lucia Dorfel. Lucia Tarkas is on stage. Slovenian athletes doing well to get to this stage. A good all-rounder. And I love watching Lucia Tarkas climb, actually. She's just <laughs> full power all the time. Very, very talented. And again, the judge is coming on. Well, that is being checked, I'm being told. There's an eye being kept on it by the team. And there is the hold. Pretty tough call, that one. So, flicking around the corner, right toe, not finding. So she goes again, onto the sloper, kicks a little bit off that no-tex hole, but it's hard to generate that swing. She's not on that jug at the moment, just hooking around the corner. And huge core strength to lock off and find that hold. Hooks the foot. Slaps down to the sloper, wrapping her way around. This is going to be sapping so much strength as she hangs. And now brings the right hand through. <laughs> It'll be a relief to find this jug if she gets it. And although she is on a good hold, she still has to sort the feet out. Find the correct position, and now she is in a better place. Up towards the low slope, but good work from Lucia Takas here. Makes the match. One hold away from the 10 now. Reaches it with the left hand. Crosses through, thumbs in action. And with one minute 46 to go, this is a valiant effort from her. She flicks that foot over, holds the 25 for a sec with that left hand. But again, pretty tricky stuff to hold that position for so long. Reaches around much better from her this time. Hangs, has the heel in, and will boost up towards the low hold once again. 34 seconds on the clock here. Gets the toe on. And again, she's in a good position here. 20 seconds now, wants a bit of the crowd behind her, hyping her up for this jump. Tries to find some purchase with that left foot on the slope and needs to kick up towards it, holds it for a second, comes down, and no, with eight seconds to go, she's going to have to settle for just the high zone. Zelia Avazu running on now. Didn't have the lead round she would have wanted yesterday. Had a bit of a slip. So looking to fight back a little bit here this morning in Vila. She was outside of the finals in Boulder round as well. 
and seventh last night in lead. So Zelia Avazu pulls on. She's been climbing a lot. You do wonder about skin and energy levels at this stage in the competition. It's going to be tough for the athletes. Comes around the corner. Can't get the toe either. And she needs to find some momentum here as she starts tick-tocking back and forth on a big jump. Now, that's more what the setters intended with that move. Up she goes again. Lots of time on the clock. And I think she's going to try that launch again. I wouldn't be surprised anyway. We're in villas sur alone which is a little village nestled in the Swiss mountains. About an hour and a bit drive from France. Quite close to the Italian border as well. So Zelia Avazu using those toes now around the corner. The kind of similar method to what everyone else who's got that low zone has done. So first half of the boulder done now as she sets up for the second, gets a left toe and a right heel to match the hands. Up she goes, but she's super low on that. Can't really do it statically and needs to boost up. That's the scores currently. You see Atarka's the only one at the moment to get to that high zone in a couple of attempts. Right heel in now. Locking it off a little bit higher. But because she did it more statically, it has allowed her just to use that palm, pressing down with the right, trying to mantle through that hold. So she goes again, starts this swing. Kicks off the Notex caterpillar-like feature. Is it a caterpillar? I think it's like a caterpillar. Reaching around the corner onto the low zone. Cracks in those toe hooks. 20 seconds to go. The high zone would be important for her here. But she's low again, and you can see that left hand slipping down, and she's not going to be able to make progress on this one. We'll have to settle for the low zone. And so we get to see women's number two, as I said, and Ingrid will lead us away with that. Meanwhile, Sarah Chopper will attempt women's number one, which has so far proved elusive in terms of tops. She's just 19 and as we've discussed all this week, she's such an impressive climber. Now let's have a look at this slab, more of a technical climb. You have to go from the left low over right onto the low zone hold and then cross back across the wall towards the 10. I did wonder whether you could cheat it up towards the 10, but I'm not really sure you can. And certainly would be harder. Ingrid, though, has made good progress at flashing the low zone. Sarah Chopper on the right of your screen on our split screen struggles with the opening move. So Ingrid up towards the 10, and then she should be given the points for that as well. This is smooth stuff from her, good bit of slab climbing palm up into that 10 hole. The next section looks hard. Much quicker movement. You've got to snap right. Begins the pounce. That's great work. We'll make sure of the 25. Needs to match it, remember. And it's not the easiest finish. I wonder if she needs to put a left foot hooking. And she does now, yes, just to steady the body position. But you can see, you've got to figure this out. And it's droppable from here. Up she comes. Checks the judges, it's like she can't breathe. She doesn't want to move to fall off that hold, but that will be the 25 and a flash for Ingrid. Bringing her score up to 29.7. So we'll stick with Sarah Chopper then, as she brings that right foot around the corner onto the jug. Similar method to what we've seen before. And we've tested it out at quite a few events in the build-up to the Olympics and modified it. I, I like it. I think it's easy to see what's going on. And I like the two zones aspect of it. So Sarah hanging, drops back down, going for a more campusy method here. She makes some little adjustments, and I think she's going to try this jump. Trying to generate a little bit of power, and she does drop onto the jug. So interesting that an athlete has done a different beater on that one. She's low on that hold as well. She's going to try to go up with the right hand, I think. Up Sarah goes again. Onto the jug, starting hold. Makes that match. And it worked for her the time before. It's worked for her again, dropping onto the jug. Now, what will she do? Left or right hand? Can she figure out a way here? Has the right heel in. Big move up. 
with the right hand again, fair play, and it has worked for her. She'll get the 10 now, eight seconds to go. No thinking time here, jumps out, touches it, but no control. But that last second high zone might prove to be very, very important for her. So this year, Dorfel will try her hands at the slab, and there is Ayala Karem as she runs down the mats. One of the strongest climbers on the circuit, and that silver medal that she picked up in Boulder, an emotional moment for her out on the mats the other evening. And I'd sort of put a circle around her name as one of the athletes who might be able to get Boulder one done. Meanwhile, you see Adolfo quickly into the starting position, puts that right foot over, pressing easily towards the high zone. Ayala going feet first. Can't see it, of course. That's the other problem with going feet first, is you're blind as you go. And I think she might be thinking about the jump, but we'll stick with the feet for this method. Has a little look, you can see Caught in two minds here as she comes back, left foot into the pocket. She's going to try it with the hands. And I think that was a good bit of learning from Ayala there, although not successful. I think that uh, she would have figured something out from that. So Ayala, she's going to do the jump, I think. Tries to find a little bit of a swing. Scores in the doors on the left. Much better for Mayela Karem. See, that learning paying off on the second attempt gets the heel in. And the crowd, appreciative of that one. It's a pretty educated crowd here. They understand climbing. And they will have known what they've just witnessed from Ayala. Big breath out. She brings the right hand in, makes the match, and then starts to creep that left foot up. The no text. Just to create a little bit of opposition. Into the 10 now. That upgrades her score. Lucia Dorfel Mimal has rested enough, pulls back onto the slab on the left of your screens. Ayala starts to kick over, much better from her. Can she hold it? She can. Well, the power climber gets the power boulder done quickly. Ayala Karem will be out in front by quite a way after that one, with a toppable slab to come. Lucia Dorfel will have half an eye on Ayala as she walks off. I would imagine she'll ignore her, but she will have seen her. Maybe a tricky one psychologically to deal with as she comes up towards the 10. Pressing up. This is where she came off before. Looking good, though, as she chalks up and resets for this next section. It's not a gimme, though. Ingrid had to work pretty hard to towards that 25 and you see it looking a little bit stuck right now. It's hard to adjust your feet when you stood up that tall. She's going to have to go pretty quickly over. So she goes again. into that low zone, up towards the 10, palm in, she stands up once again, and I wonder if she's just adjusted those feet a little bit. Kind of have to do it on the way up rather than when you stand, and that is better from her. So, a hold away now, right hand in. Ingrid got just the thumbs involved here. You don't need a lot on the hold, but you do need two, and that's not gonna be enough, that's not control. Okay, so I'm being given confirmation that we are giving two more minutes, presumably to Lucia Dorfel. So if an incident like this happens, as a standard, there's two minutes given to the athletes. Well, Lucia Dorfel is waiting. She's being held as that two minute will come down. Now she'll be able to enter the stage and hopefully get a chance to finish this climb off because... Uh, So, into the first few moves again. Comes across, presses into that low zone. She'll know the sequence, she'll have thought about it backstage. But obviously as an athlete, you have to put the initial frustration that you 
that the clock wasn't working, put that to one side and restart. It's, it's all part of what the athletes are meant to do. It's their job to deal with a bit of controversy along the way, and you have to be prepared for everything. And we know how much of a psychological game climbing is. You see it, aims right. Final hold now. Now this is where she was a bit rushed before. Can she show control this time? She might need to bring that left foot in to steady herself like Ingrid did. Or has she got the power just to press up? Oh, she's, ooh, I thought she was falling, but she actually dropped back down. Up again. Into the final hold. Yes, that left foot, the toe. She managed to find it, pressing into the low zone, and that's what steadied her and allowed her to make that match. So Laura Rogera will move on. Last night's a winner here and talking to her after that competition she was fairly emotional about it you know she didn't get the results she wanted in the Olympics she was injured in the last European champs and I think for her today is just a bonus really she wanted that lead gold medal and winning that was very special for her I mean, know with Laura that some of these power boulders she struggles with but lead is her forte so for her, it's a case of not slipping out of sight of the leaders here. Let's see Atakis, meanwhile, moves right into the low zone, pressing. If you're new to climbing, watch how these athletes do these slabs, because it's always a good learning opportunity, I find. So, so talented, and learning footwork is <laughs> not an easy thing to do. Some questions coming in for me, which I will try to answer if I can. One of them is saying, why are there no Austrians here? Well, there are lots of Austrian athletes, but you had to qualify for this combined section of the comp. The top eight from Boulder and Lead have only made it this far. So no Austrian athletes managed to get the points to get in to this women's side of things. Laura, into the low zone now. We know how good she is at hanging on and resting and she will be able to stay in this position for quite a long time on a jug this big and drop up and down, depending. Looks around the corner, gets in a toe, reaches up. She's super low, though, on that side pull. We'll have to readjust that one. And you see Atakis, meanwhile, makes her way up towards the 10, pressing in. Laura low. She's never going to let go of that jug, though, I tell you. Goes again. Up, left hand slipping, drops down again. Lucia Tarkas, beautiful bit of footwork as she outside flags, but she's got to be careful with this last move. She was a bit fast into it, and it's not as easy as she would have thought. Needs to bring that right foot up higher, and she's trying to oppose the feet on the right, whereas everyone else has got a right foot on and brought a left toe into action. And I think that's what she's adjusting now. Yes, there is the left toe, so good thinking from her. So the feet are in a better position, but I think that right foot maybe needs to be slightly higher up the hold. But tricky to adjust from now, so she's going to find some power in the palms and a bit low as well. She's literally one press away, creeps that hand up. That's going to show control. Good work from Lucia Takas not to give up on that attempt because she was close to fall. Fantastic from her. Laura, meanwhile, will rest and go again. Has a high hurt foot on that starting hold. Look at the scores. Lucia Takas with that top jumps up to the top with 34.7. Heal in for Laura. Now, this is where she couldn't find the drive before. We've seen a few ways to do this. She tried to get a toe up there and Rock kind of mantle it. Just not sure. Big swing from the hips, but she's low again and going that fast means hitting that sloper and holding it is a big task, a big ask. Drops back down, she might just camper up. She's tried absolutely everything. Fingertips on now, 30 seconds to go on the clock as well. Brings that left heel up once more. Starts this big swing up, and no, it's not going to be. And I don't think Lara will find a solution to that one. She goes. The men's two. That was my favourite boulder.
Jenya Kazbekova comes on. And there is Zelia Abazu on the slab. Right, Zhenya reaching around the corner with a right toe. And the setters are going to call her off for using that hold again. That bolt hold. Zelia eyes up the next hole, deep breath, looks down at her feet. Springs out right, kicks the left foot into the right. Great work from her. Palm in. But again, as the Tiatakis did, she's got to work the feet. Her feet are in the correct position, so left toe in, right foot, but she's not that high, and I just wonder if she needs to bump that right foot up a little bit. But no, forget what I said. <laughs> Quick match from Zelia Abazu. Job done, and lots of time on the clock to reset. Zhenya, so strong. She'll enjoy this climb as well. Up she goes, left foot on. Has a little look towards the 25. Kicks over, misses though with the left hand. Up she goes again, onto the starting halt. One last chance probably to get this one done. Right foot around the corner as she finds the jug for the toes. Keep an eye on that clock, though. She's left it long enough that she has to get this done. First time on this attempt. Left heel in. Quick work from her as we come up to 30 seconds left on this boulder. Right heel on. Powering up with the right hand. So, so strong as she makes progress on this. Left foot upgraded. Brings the right hand through. And now she's one move away, one last chance here to lock off the maximum points. Left foot is a bit dodgy, starts the kick. No, she had a hand on it, but not quite. So next up, Sarah Chapa will be on the slab, and we have actually said goodbye to that boulder number one. We've been quite quickly through this competition. So just one top from Ayala Karem on boulder number one. Sarah Chapa on women's number two. We'll give it a good clean before getting going, and Ingrid will start on this boulder, which is the coordination boulder. And you'll see lots of jumps in this and a very tricky landing, but quite an easy float up towards the first zone. But it's this jump, there's a lot going on. Landing with the left foot, getting a right toe hook in like that. That was accurate from Ingrid and what a performance this lady is having. Could this be another flash for her? No. There's a few ways to do this. You can ideally kick out right onto the corner she tried to stop on the penultimate hold. Sarah Chopper, palm down on the five, creeps the left toe over. Makes a match. Looks over to the right, and then she'll want to flick that left hand into the palm, which she does now, as she brings the right foot up to match her hands. Smooth stuff so far on the slab. Thumb underneath as she brings the left foot up, and that will be the high zone as well. Eyes up the right hold. Ingrid trying to get a toe hook in. You can see the coordination on that coordination boulder. Coordination with your feet and hands are doing different things. Sarah Chopper, meanwhile, is... One move away now, gets a palm in, watch the feet. She's in an awkward position. She might have the shoulder strength to do this like it, but it will be harder. Now she makes the adjustment. Puts the right foot in, left to toe. She's got the right idea, but she's got to make it feel right. Palm onto the edge, trying to wrap those fingers around the arete, the corner of the wall a little bit. Tries to creep the foot. This is a different method to her from the others. Of course, 
She won't be aware of the way they did it, but she knows what she's doing doesn't feel right. So she'll try to make these adjustments. Meanwhile, Ingrid on the right swings over easily into the high zone. It's the last move that's causing her problems. Sarah, meanwhile, has a thumb up. It's all action here. Ingrid, so close that time. And that is the top for Sarah Chopper. And now is struggling just to link this last section together. She goes again. Sets herself up, big spring up, two hands. She tried a different method and was closer. And she runs back to that chalkboard knowing that that's probably the way. Big move up from Ingrid. Feet on, starts this swing once more. She has time to figure this out as well and she's locked in this first move. Question coming from Zakia asking, are there any prominent female climbers from Switzerland? Yes, there are, and especially Sofia Yokoyama, who was uh, impressive during the Boulder semi-finals. Ingrid into the last swing here. Sets herself up. She's going to try this new way. Jumps. No, just as she went, something popped. I'm not sure if it was a body position or foot slip. Ayala Karem, fresh off completing the first Boulder, has left herself in a good position, but she's known as a powerful climber and she did the power boulder. So in a way, it's kind of job done for her, and now she needs to figure out the slab. Lucia Dorfel, meanwhile, will turn her attention to the cordo move. Rafaela goes. Right foot, nice and smooth so far from her. Lucia Dorfel, meanwhile, into the high, the low zone, going towards the high zone. Starts this swing, wanting to land. Really high with the hips here as she lashes over and hooks it in really beautifully there with the right foot. Ayella also making progress. I see Adorful sets herself. We saw Ingrid change her mind on this method. What will Lucia do with this first move? Up she goes, over, and that's almost it on the first attempt. One hand away. Ayala will bring a right foot up to match the hand, as we've seen before, rocking her way up towards the high zone, pressing with those palms as she finds the left foot and looking steady at the moment. This could be two out of two if she manages to get it done. Eyes right. Dances the feet, falls though. Almost a flash. So Ayala Karem creeps over on the slab, looks around the corner, fingers on. Lucia Dorfel starts this swing. And check out that angle. You could draw a perfect line from the hips into the landing position. Sets herself for this spring. Got to be careful of that right foot, though. Wants to catch that left leg. Now, that's what Ingrid was trying. She didn't have much success with that method. But it's interesting that Lucia changed her mind. Having got so close using the uh, big jump and a kick to the right. So I wonder which method she will use on her third attempt. Meanwhile, Ayala is up on the slab. And this slab is pretty important to get done, and she's struggling on this one, isn't it? Although Ayala got the power boulder done, struggling on the slab a bit. You see Adorful swinging back and forth, lands, locks in that right foot perfectly. Now, which method will she try here? Right toe is on, eyes it up. I think she's going to go with the left toe again, and I'm not sure that's the way. But using the other method, she was hat one hand away from the top. Ayala goes again, keeps on trying this move. Over towards the right. Bring that right foot up to match the hand, but with a minute to go, she needs to get it done this time, and she's still got to figure out the tricky last hold. Ayala, one hold away, 16 seconds. Can she get it done? Little adjustments. 
and she is going to get it done with nine seconds on the clock. Ayana Karem had to fight hard for that one, fist pumping. Okay, let's see Atakis comes on, and Laura Rogero runs through. So let's see it on women's three. We'll start her jump over towards the right. Laura, meanwhile, grimaces her way up this slab problem. You can see it back and forth. Different style of swing from Lucia Dorfel. And you could see, when I was talking about that line from the hips down, you could see that Lucia just wasn't as well set there. Laura, though, up towards the high zone nice and quickly. Good work, though. Nearly held that. See, Atakis goes again. She'll have a little rethink, I think. Kicks the feet over. Finds the top of the slab, palm down. You see Atakis back and forth, kicking off the left and right walls, trying to get the swing in and not enjoying this at the moment. Lara creeping out, face against the wall here, sets herself, little pounce over, better with the feet. Lara, right hand, left hand. This little dance with the hands that every athlete has done, right palm up as she makes the adjustments with the feet here. She wants that left foot in, gets it now. The audience hold their breath a little bit. They know how close she is, 30 seconds. Can she find something in the thumbs? She can, Laura gets it done as well. An important climb to finish that one. And then a lot of athletes in the 39s. And Lucia Tarkas will bump that 39 up. And she finally gets into the high zone. With 10 seconds to go, she hasn't given herself a lot of time to learn. So, Zhenya Kaspekova is up next. Four minutes on the clock. Zilia Avazu, meanwhile, approaches the wall, cleans those feet off. She's usually pretty good at these kind of cordo moves. Easily into the low zone, as we'd expect. It's pretty much a jug to jug that, but it's all to get yourself set for this move, which is way more complicated. Starts the swing, better angle, and does flash the high zone. Zhenya, meanwhile, is excellent on a slab, and she's doing good at the moment as she comes up towards the 10. Hits the 25, Zili had two hands on it, but didn't show control. Zhenya has a look down. She want to bring that left foot in, kick the right onto the corner, does it perfectly. Look at this from her, really playing to that strength. Left toe in, right thumb pressing up. And does it in a similar way to Ayala does, did it. A boulder that you know you could do, you've got to execute it. Zelia, easy in the toe. 
Right foot onto the jib now. She gets set for the final sequence of moves. And it is a top for Zelia Abazu. Fantastic from her. And that would have helped her score and does help her score. No end there. Deep impact, but certainly the amount of people talking about climbing has been interesting. I mean, on social media, it was just full of everyone chatting about Toby and the other medalist, Yanya, of course. So I think the Olympics has had an impact to just grow our sport once more, bring more attention, more eyes to it. That's the impact I've seen so far. Sarah Chopper. See if she's going to link these moves together. Starts the swing. Sarah up again, misses the left toe though. Up to a bad dish. This is a tough one after a few days of competing. Her final climb of the boulder round. Rotates through into the right hand, makes the match. There's the bad dish on the low zone. He can kind of lock it off though with the left arm. Up towards the 10, falls. Ingrid will go again. It's good work to get into that zone. This cross remove here, she made it look simple, but it's not as easy as it looks. Need some powerful shoulders to execute that, in control as well. Low zone, locks the crimp, looks up, hits the high and a little bit low with that finger strength. Sarah Chopper, meanwhile, starts this swing once more, getting the angle, kicking off with the left. Everyone doing it slightly different. She's super low with that left foot, but it managed to make it work. And a big move required here. Sets herself, springs. Matches. Oh, how? I thought she was so in on that one. The momentum a little bit more, it would have been done. Ingrid again crosses through and slips, and you just feel from Ingrid that. Clock here. Sarah Chopper will go again. Starts the swing, eyeing up that 10 hold. Much better from her that time, more in control as she landed. Right foot on, looks to drive towards the 25, and yes, surely, yes it is, that's the top. Well, she came so close, it would have been just awful if she hadn't done it. So, Ayala Karem running on, Lucia Dorfel will join her. So, the buzzer goes, and she will begin here. On women's number four. Might suit her, this one. Ayala Karem looks up. Easy into the jump. Currently sitting down a third. And look at this from Lucia Dorfel. I said she might like it, and she's quickly into the ten. Crosses through in this rose move. Ayala jumps, locks off into the high zone as well. Power from Lucia Dorfel, she can't hold the shoulder move. Ayala gets set, looks left, looks right, adjusts. Can she do this first time? No, the toe let her down. Catch with the left toe, which is kind of counterintuitive. Interesting one from the setters, I like it, tricking the athlete a bit. So, Ayala starts the swing. Holding easily into that move, just flowing through the sequence. Looks left, I think she's going to go for the toe catch again. Can someone make this work? It'd be great to see it. Gets ready. It's a long way though. No, she does the kick as well. Holds the dish. How many goes has she got though? And you can see just not quite as locked off. You know what it's like if you're a climber in the gym. You do a climb, you try again. Maybe 30 seconds later and suddenly you just don't have the power you had in your hands. Well, it's the same with these athletes. Ayala though, locks off the 25. Fist pumping from her, she's having a great day. Not a lot of time to recover. Up she goes again. Left foot on the jib, crosses through. Dish is easy, 
It's about this next move. Fingers on, kicks over. No, you can see the point of finger pop. Goes again though quickly and she has to, 30 seconds. A little bit more, but no, you can just see the energy bar draining almost. Arogra and Lucia Tarkas run out. So both athletes wasting no time in pulling on. I think Laura pulled on and fell off. And see Atakas, let's see if she can get this done. We know that a quick finish or quick start to this boulder might be important. Siatakis rotates through, looks right, kicks off with the feet. No text there, of course, but has the right foot on. Crosses through. Locks it off. Will spring right. Really powerful move and one to go. So, Laura, back on to women's three now. Has a little look up. And Siatakis can't get it done that time. Laura starts this swing. Up Lucia goes again. Kicks right, holes onto the 10. So she wants the crowd behind her, 30 seconds to go. Matches underneath. Holds the 10, great work from her. Foot shaking though a little bit as she tries to put the pressure in that right hand. Needs to come into the dish, can't hold it with the shoulder move. Shenya on women's number three. This swing. And Celia Avazu, see if she's got some finger strength left. Looks up towards the dish, has it with the left hand. Flicks out right, big lock off. Zhenya, meanwhile, comes into the 10 nicely. Sets herself up for the final jump. Zelia, out right, holds the shoulder move, brings the left up, and what quick work from Zelia Abazu, making that look simple. So, just to update you guys on appeal, there was an appeal <laughs> about the appeal. So Lizia Dorfel on women's number two said that the, uh, there was an appeal saying that the appeal came in too late. So although she got that two minutes on the clock, that's now been wiped. So her score goes from 25 back to 10 points on boulder number two. Jenya looks towards the final hole, hits the 25, and she's in as well. Needed that one, and that's a big moment for her in this comp.
tense stuff here. Scores are close, but good separations throughout, I think, from the setters on an interesting set of boulders. Right hand up towards the sloper, easily into the dish. Looks at the 10, round the corner, locks it off, thumb in action. Strong stuff from Sarah Chopper here as she creeps that left hand through. Oh, tried to get into the undercling at the top. That's interesting. Up she goes again, looking very good on this set of moves. Crosses through. A couple of fingers on here. Still looking powerful. Where will she hit this next hold? I think she might try to go low, but she's kind of frozen now. She does go again into the undercling. Locks off the left hand, up towards the 10, holds it, flicks the right foot over, crosses under. Needs to do this move quickly. 16 seconds will be the last time. This time, Palm onto the sort of a side pull. Ayala will go on to women's number four now. We just get to focus on one climb at a time as the last three will rotate through. Ayala with a good score so far. If she can get this, it'll be a good morning's work from her. Easily out, brings the right foot up to match. There's the five above her head. Right foot on some texture down low. Got to be careful though. Up towards the 10. It's blocked as you can see, so you can't get all fingers onto it that you'd want. Little adjustment with three fingers. Drops the pinky off. Powerful cross through move. Needs to change feet. That right toe just hooking above the left. Now gets it on. Crossing, it's so awkward this unwind, but look at that powerful stuff from Ayala as she makes the match. Head flicks backwards and that her score 84.5, just above Zelia Abazu, who's on 79.7. Okay, so Laura, we know how good she is on a nasty crimp, and that <laughs> crimp in the middle is pretty nasty. Question coming in about appeals. Actually, we'll just watch this on uh, Laura. Hold that crimp. Oh, she's matching it as well, or trying to. Kind of blocked for that reason. She's She can turn a crimp into a match, she always does. Right foot out. Locks it off this time. Deep fingernails, crosses through but pops it. Laura, up into the dish now. Try the match before. Three fingers on this time. Didn't quite have the range before. Brings that left foot high, 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 and oh, what flexibility to try to stretch out. But that worked for her. Oh, she's doing this completely different. Almost a knee bar in there, but not quite. This is unique. What a big drop knee. Super flexy, bendy stuff from Laura dropping in. Wow, that was one way of doing it. And I tell you what, that is going to help her score coming into that lead round. Genia will be up next. Last athlete to come through on M4. Sorry, M4. Women's four. So, Genia, powerful climber, might enjoy this one if she's got something left. But remember, two finals in a row for her. She's had, I think, the busiest couple of days of all these finalists. Up she goes, quickly into the 10, kicks that right foot out. She wants the match as well. She might actually make this work. She has made it work.
Well, great way to finish with these two women doing different things here, but now she's a little bit stuck, actually. And although the match looked good, I'm not sure if it helped her. She's going to have to match this one as well. Well, she does manage it. Quick top from Zhenya. Look at the scores. She's on 69 currently. That's going to be boosted up with a 25. Well, here are confirmation of the results as they stand. Remember, this will be added to the lead. Ayala Karem leading the way with a 99.5. Then Zhenya Kazbekova, 84. Zelia in the 70s. Sarah Chopper. Just under the 70, 69.2. Laura, 59. Lucia Tarkas on 53. Ingrid down on 44.7. Lucia Dorfel, 34.9 after that double appeal. Moved on to speed, then boulder, then lead. And now finally on the last day, we will crown the overall champ. And this is the route that the women have ahead of them. No tex texture holds down low, but good feet as you work your way into the green holds. Pretty slopey, which will feel tough under the midday sun here in Vila. Into the blues and things really step up a notch here. Some kind of a very difficult jump or drop down move in the middle before finally the pink section on the steep head wall. About 25 degrees up there, which is a lot <laughs> for a head wall. Usually much less steep than that, but the set has pushed for it. Ingrid's now ready as she enters the stage and we get to see this route for the first time. And the crowd have switched their attention from Boulder to lead. Let's see what happens. So Ingrid underway and getting going here as she makes her way pretty quickly through the opening section of this route. No points available, remember, down here. And the setters won't want them to fall at this stage, but often they put in little tricks and traps to just unsettle them at this stage in the competition. And Ingrid will need to keep all of her focus. She's great on a rope. Out onto the blues, and there are some no-tex holds before you get to the scoring zone. So this is what I meant by unsettling the athletes. They're good holds, as you can see, big jugs. If there was friction on them, it'd be simple, but there's not. And it just gets to your head a bit. You know you're holding onto a, a difficult surface. That one is the first scoring zone. Once she gets this, points will start to appear on the board. That will be added to the boulder score. Rocking out right. Little adjustment with the feet. She comes up to the final few. A little foot pop there. You've got to be careful. There is some friction on the blue holds, not on the clear ones. But she's through now and racking up points. That's the scores on the left. So you can see now the boulder score added to lead. Ingrid score, nine from lead. Added to the 44.7 from boulder, 53.7 total. The blue is the total. Big move up now into the next scoring zone. Two points per hole from now on. And combined routes like this tend to be more endurance based, but there is Quite a cruxy move coming up, but Ingrid's starting to struggle here. Just got that crimp. It was a hard move. She had to flick of her head to hold herself. Almost dropped that one too. Really battling, and the crowd can sense it. Getting behind her as she drives that right foot out. How is she still on here? Real battle. She's not on the quick draw. Falls. 22. That's going to leave her in fourth. So outside of the podium places at this stage. Onto the stage now. Rereading the route, the athletes get 40 seconds in order to check it out. Underway and climbing, she makes her way through, clips that first quick draw. Want to keep it together during the bottom. Don't want to fall down low. It's not hard, but you have to just be focused.
So matching that turn hold up towards the crimp. This is where Ingrid's head started to flick backwards as she was working harder. We see it also suddenly having to pull something out of the bag here as she makes the match, but looking a bit more composed than Ingrid did. Getting the clip in and dropping that left knee down just a little to put a bit of rubber on the side. It's steep there in the middle. Sometimes it's hard to tell from that back angle, but it's very overhanging through this middle section of the route and she wraps that right arm and hand around the sloper. Make some adjustments. Over towards the left. Steady work from Lucia Dorfel as she approaches the Blues in the next scoring zone. And she's moving quickly up the leaderboard, although she had a lot of work to do. 34.9 was her boulder score. Has a toe on the right, now switches it. Her left leg dangling in space as she comes up towards the next scoring zone now. Points will start to rack up, and there they are as she jumps up to provisional fourth. Swings that heel over. Keep an eye on the clock on the bottom right as well. That's the limit the athletes have, and she slips, comes down. That's the cruxy drop down I was talking about. I think it was maybe a little bit sooner than she would have wanted, but she committed to the move, got the drop down. But now this next one is enormous. It's a good hold though, and an opportunity for her to shake out and reset, but it's a big one coming up, almost boulder style. And we've seen a lot of these uh, similar kind of moves actually with a high heel and a rock up. Goes left, hits the jib, has to trust the heel. Big lock off as she comes into that right hand. And now it's just motor to the top, the head wall approaching. But those sequence of moves will have been draining for them. Out left onto a crimp, but want to find some kind of a heel on the right here. Now gets it in, kind of the wrong side of the rope though. She rocks up towards the next side pull, just with that one. Fingertips holding her in. Comes up, slips, falls. And that will leave her in provisional second. So 94.9 is her total. The attackers up next. Looking up at the wall, a bit of a nod of her head. She knows what's to do. Got to put it together, though. So she's underway. The six minutes comes up on the clock. First quick draw in. Focus time for Lucia Takas as she starts upwards, coming into the underclings down low. Nice and smooth, no one making any particular drama so far. As I said before, you have to be careful here though. Chalking up on these Notex, out with the right. So you've got a bit of friction in one hand, but everything else is feeling pretty dodgy. And you can see the overhang as well. Those quick draws hanging away from the wall, giving an indication just how steep it is through there. Four minutes 23 on the clock as she comes into the green section. This is where the slope is kicking. A quick draw dangling just above her on the left. The athletes can touch the quick draws, you can't wait to them, you can't pull on them. And more points available from here. Hits the crimp. 
like watching her style through this. She's just very accurate. Makes the match now. Comes out towards the right. Check out her score on the left. Jumps above Ingrid. Reached out left, touched it, goes down to re chalk up. She didn't like the look of it the first time and now goes up with the right hand. I'm really not looking too comfortable in these greens at the moment. There's suddenly just been a bit of a pause in her momentum. Comes through, loses the feet as well. Starting to struggle now a little bit. And that big drop down move to come. Right, she has this heel on. Like Lucia did, and I think it's pretty easy to pop that heel when you drop down. It's a very physical move this. She comes into the right hand. She's got to lose the heel at some point. You've got to catch it with that right. It's kind of a one-arm lock-off, and I'm not sure she's got the power for this. She's breathing hard. She comes in just a flick of the head as she manages to latch it. And looking tired as she shakes out, checks the clock, 2 minutes 15, as she moves up into second. Intermediate out left and then a big lock off move to bring the right hand into what is a good hold as she locks off that left in order to make the clip. Finds the next crimp. This is where Lucia had a, a bit of a shake out. Low, fell. 107.9 is her score. So 54 added to the 53.9. Not bad, a third athlete through on this route. Next up, Zelia Avazu as we reach the halfway mark of this second. <laughs> Zelia Avazu, just 20, looking very relaxed, nodding along to the music a bit as she remembers this route, rereads it. That six minutes will only start once she pulls off the ground. and taking every second of that 40 seconds to remind herself. Important moment for Zelia Abazou here as she walks in. Got that last minute top in Boulder, which helped. Pulls off the ground. Right, she's underway through the grey volumes. Just work your way over, high feet, making sure of it. Nice move so far. Cracks in a heel and then she will get this clip in and aim towards this giant half-moon curve of a hold that's coming up. Makes the clip, makes the max hold, matches. And the other athletes watch on from the sidelines. Their work done for this afternoon. This is the no text. There's a ripple that you can see on the holds, but there's nothing really to hold on to. And she does just very briefly lose her feet there. Manages to regain it and is looking good. She rests here, makes the match. I'm surprised she's shaking out on these no techs, but she'll know that the color change usually indicates a difficulty change. So she'll want to be ready for this as she crosses into the first of the crimps. Feet out left as she makes the match on the 10 hold. So you have a zoo, 79.7 was her bowler. She is scoring points now. So that zero isn't quite accurate on the left, but it will be updated soon. So 
So big moves and a big holds here, but Slopey very low on that one, gets in a heel, crosses through, leaving space for that right hand as she changes that right heel up onto the higher hold and will shake out again, but only briefly as she keeps moving. Hits the crimp, puts a heel in, crosses through, and a bit of a, a shake in the hands for the first time there. Halfway through this route now, as she enters the next section, there's the 30, three points, two points available from that. Sorry, three points available from that. And look at that smooth, full commitment from Zelia Abazu, and she gets in two heels above her head. Points will be racking up all the time. And she hangs there. Breathing deep as she resets herself. And we can see the Tsiataka sitting in the throne on the left. What a great shot that is. Those who have climbed and those who are still climbing all at the same time. Out on towards the crimp. Goes up to Noel's next right hand crimp. Makes the clip from here. Tsiataka did it from the left hand. And Zelia Abbas is really having to work now. Coming out towards the crimp. This is good though. This is going to get her right up the leaderboard. Changes the rope. Hits the right hand side pull, crosses through just about over the head wall now. Right hand up, there's the 60, four points from then on. Crosses through. Now the score catches up, she moves into the top spot, 57 from lead. Stamps that right hand out, that right foot out in a positive manner onto the bottom, just below the head wall. But remember, it's steep up there. She'll be being pushed backwards by the angle. <laughs> Makes the match in a shakeout, and uh, this is impressive from Zelia Abazu. I thought she was looking shaky way back on the greens, and now she's up into the pinks on the head wall. Crosses out, falls, but a 147, sorry, 151. That could be good. That could be a potential podium here. Of course, four athletes to go. So let's have a look at the scores. We've just seen her climb, and Celia Abazu is in the number one spot. Baela Karem second, as she hasn't climbed yet, so those points will be added. Tia Tarkas. 99 is her total. And then the only other athlete who's climbed is Ingrid. She's down in seventh outside of the running for the podium. So here we go. Sarah Chopper will reread this sequence. She's a powerful climber. She'll enjoy that drop down move. But at this stage, it's all about. <laughs> Energy management, what has she got in the tank? <laughs> careful, careful climbing from her at the moment. Looks a little bit nervy right now. You want to be slow. Now just picks up the pace a bit. She hits the first of the no text. Text? Text. High right foot on the no text. It's a risky. Right hand does have some friction though, and she'll really trust that right heel. Brings the left through, stands up into the last of the nasty holds. Slow and steady at the moment, just taking her time, not rushing any sequences. She knows she needs points on the board. She had that 69.2, which was good from Boulder. She's in with a chance here. Out towards the side pull. Big splits move. She brings the weight onto that right leg and just flags outside with the left leg. More points here. She'll make the clip first before moving on. There is our current leader, Zili Abazu, in the throne. Of 
Sarah Chopper comes up onto the crimp now. Still this slow and steady method. Remember, there is a time limit to this, but we haven't seen anyone get close to it yet. Drop knee in order to get into the next of the slopers. Needs to cross over the top of that left hand. And a back heel. This is good stuff from Sarah Chopper. Three minutes, 46 on the clock. So she is fairly slow at this stage. That's a good move up towards the pinch, though. Delicate with the hands as she comes on. Powerful moves to come here as she swings that leg over to the left. You've got to sit on that heel for a while. And Sarah up into second with a 102.2 total. Creeps the right hand down and keeps the left heel on all the way through that move until she's ready to put the right head, right heel above her head. And calmness, that's what I'm getting from this run. She's so serene up there. Some way to go, though, before jumping above Zelia's score. Zelia was up into the pinks. Sarah and Zelia getting similar scores, but Zelia obviously a little bit higher for Boulder. So Sarah will have to do more work here. Up with the left hands and a bit of an acceleration to the pace now as she rocks into the next crimp. We'll make this clip from here. And a 1-1-1.2. One, one, one Up towards the head wall with two minutes on the clock. Now that elbow as she matches. This is an indicator that she's getting a bit tired here. Flicks the right hand, wants to get something back in it. She reaches up with the left. The thumb is in action. She's got the clip to come, though. And she might be able to have another stance here. And she's ignoring the clip, and yeah, she falls. And that leaves her outside of the number one spot. Ayala Karem out next. Now, she had a very good bold around. The power boulders especially playing to her strengths. And although maybe not the best on a rope, she's left herself in such a good position from that boulder round that she's a good contender here for take, to take the title, but a lot of climbing ahead of her. Just has a last check around the corner for that green section. Taking her time as she can, now approaches the wall. Now, Yella Karem is a contender for the win here. She did well in Boulder, coming second there. Crosses in now. Next time she touches the ground, she will either be the provisional champion or not. It's a big moment here. Heel in, up towards the last of the grey volumes. She makes the second clip. She's been well used to these no-tex holds from her boulder experience. So, getting a little bit of moisture on her hands, that's what she's wiping there. These holds do work better when the skin is a little sticky rather than bone dry and full of chalk. And we've seen that a few times actually throughout the last couple of days. The athletes just using a bit of sweat to stick to the holds better. Out into the friction of the right hand now. Has that sweat work? She certainly looks good here. She comes to the last of the holds and there is the score on the left. Three points so far. Score will be racking up. She has less to do than the others. Therefore, Technically, he needs to climb less high in order to jump into the top spot. But Celia's 151.8 is good. 
Ayala rotates those feet through. So far, lovely execution. So she hits the crimp, gets in a heel, up towards these side pulls now. We saw the close-up shots of these before. And they are good holds, but it's all about body position to make them work. You want to lean away from the hold itself. If you move to the right, nothing to hold on to. Keep your body weight to the left, and they become better. She's left lots of room to cross over, but there's a bit of a pause here from Ayala Karem. She hasn't got that clip in either. She's now seen it. She falls, and that is disappointing from her. I don't know whether she missed the clip and then had a little think back, but that could have been the win for her, but it leaves her down the order. So Laura approaching the wall now. Didn't have the greatest of boulder rounds, but is in touch. We're expecting big things from her on this lead route if she's got the power and the energy from it. Because remember, finals last night, finished pretty late and started pretty early this morning. How they bounce back from that, I really don't know. It's pretty incredible recovery. All right, well, she is underway now and needs to climb high on this route. Her score currently a 59.5. Puts in the heel on the Notex, starts to go up now. Into the points for the first time. Remember, Zelia Abbas is 151.8 is the highest score. There are the scores on the left. So five now, added to that 59.5. Needs to get pretty close to topping out to take that win away from Zelia. Up with the right hand, makes an adjustment on the slope, but brings the feet through. She's cheered up through the green volumes now. 85 is her score as she approaches the blue section. More points from here on, up to fifth now. Hasn't got that clip in yet, which is interesting. Now we'll get it from there. So drop down move to come, nice and smooth as she matches hand to heel. Breathing deep as she looks at the clock, makes sure of the time, three minutes 22. She calculates that it is enough. Time is something that Lara thinks about a lot. She struggled with it in the past. Celia Avazu squints upwards. I think she thought it wasn't enough when she came down, but that score from Ayala Karem left it wide open here for everyone. Up Laura goes. And we know how capable she is to getting the, to the top of lead routes here. And she's looking good so far. Up with the left hand. 
She's pretty low on that, but somehow manages to make it work as she locks it off and then rocks up. She'll enjoy this next section on the crimp, but has she got enough left? Cross through. There's the head wall. Crowd behind her as she gets this last clip before the change of angle. A bit of relief on the arms, but not that much. Rest, looking more comfortable than Zelia did at this stage. But still a long way to go, 119.5 her total. Aiming for 151.8. More points though, four per hole from now on as she doesn't like the look of this next move. Retreats backwards, minute 42 on the clock is a lot of time left to do this head wall. Finds the feet and crosses through, and she'll need to do a big flick of the legs here. In some trouble, perhaps, though. It's a long, long way. Makes the match, gets it with a sloper. And now steps across again, drags the rope up. She's so close to Zelia's score. One, two, seven, and a minute ten. Relaxed enough to be able to check the clock. Inside flag to reach up. Palm out right, she adjusts the hands. Kicks that right foot over, makes the adjustment. No more quick draws to worry about, just the top, 143.5. She's coming close to that 100. If she gets this, it's going to be so dramatic. Creeps up towards the final pink hold. There's a bit of a pop to come, though, at the top. Has she got the power for that? 151, she is in the top spot, 155.5. She looks back, and she's excited, and Zelia knows that was a fantastic effort from her. If Celia had just climbed a little higher, it would have been a different story, but Laura did what she needed to do and puts herself in the top spot with just one athlete to go. So, Genia walks out. 84.8 was her boulder score. Fantastic result from her. So she doesn't need to come near the top to win this thing. There is a chance for Genia. What kind of lead shape is she in right now? She will take her time, all focus in the stadium on this lady now as she gets herself ready. She wants another medal and she's left herself in a good position to do it. So here we go, final six minutes in this women's comp as Genia is off the ground. Genia up with the high heel here. Nice and smooth from her as she works her way through the notex towards the first scoring hole. Points on the board from now on. And that is our current leaderboard. So Laura Rogera, Zelia Abazuk, Sarah Chopper make up our top three. Zen Zelia just pushed out by Laura's 155.6. And if Xenia doesn't fall, she's in with a shout here, but it's all about the endurance, and these routes tend to be more endurance-y. Xenia is on form on a lead rope at the moment. We saw that in the individual lead competition. Easily up towards the 10, two points from now on. 94.8 is her total. Big move up, positive. 
She rotates the feet through and squats down on that grey volume, gets the next clip in. She's looking good with 4 minutes 12 on the clock. Gets a heel in now as she goes towards the left. Up into fifth now. Powerful stuff as she gets that toe in. Trying to recover something for the next section. Maybe looking a little bit tired now as she comes up with that right hand. Puts in a heel, looks left again. Big move out, she swings over. And dropping down for a second, less smooth but still in. And that right heel, not looking as good as we've seen some others get, but it's enough. Jenya takes a moment here to rest on what is one of the better holds on this route, but powerful moves to come. She'll go up with the left hand towards the intermediate. And she's taking her time here now, trying to get something back into the arms. She'll know she's not safe yet. Well, here she goes, up into third. She's guaranteed a medal. What color is it going to be? Can she fight through the next series of crimps? She's looking good at the moment. She gets a precise heel on on the right. Climbing her way upwards towards a podium finish. Zili Ravazu's score is next, if she can get that. Out with the right hand. This is fantastic from her, 144.8 her total. Close to Zelia now, but that right elbow is going up. She drops back down and I'm glad she did because I think if she carried on then that would have been a fall, but can she recover something from this? Brings the left leg in, crosses through, still going, still fighting. A long move needed though, just, is she gonna fall? No, she's not, how does she hold that? She jumps and we wait for the scores and it is gonna be silver. Laura Rogera has done enough for the gold medal. Virginia, with her silver, will be proud of that. Her second of the week. So Laura takes her second gold. And here are the official results on screen, I think. Yes, Laura taking the victory, 155.6. Genia second, Zelia Avazu with the bronze medal. Sarah Chopper close, but she'll have to settle for fourth. Ayala Karem had that early fall. She could have taken it on a different day. Lucia Takas, Lucia Dorfel, and Ingrid after that. Sheltering, and there we go. A bit more of a close up from them. I can see our poor cameraman hiding underneath an umbrella. Fair play, sir. Congratulations to Genia. And people have been asking me what that trophy thing is. Well, that's what it's for. You put the toy inside, obviously. I can see it being a giant drink container. Maybe just me. Zia Abazu there on the right. And Laura Rogera was all smiles. She takes the combined gold after a brilliant lead climb. Laura Rogera is crowned champ here in Villasio along. Great performance from her. Never seems to stop climbing, that lady. Always at some kind of a comp in some place. And we wish her best of luck for the rest of the season.